Hi everybody, welcome to the Food Panda office. Let me guys give you a tour. Um, we actually just moved into the office, so there's still a little bit of tweaking and construction going on as, as we speak, actually. So we are super excited because it's actually the first time in Singapore that all the teams are now in one single location, and now we have everything under one roof tightly together. I'm in Singapore since uh, six years now, but I, I pretty much landed here by accident, to be very honest. Back then when I joined Food Panda in the very early days, it was headquartered in, in Germany, Berlin. But then very quickly, I got engaged with, uh, more and more with the countries here in Asia. 2015 actually relocated to, to Singapore. I mean, I really love working in, in, in startup and tech. I think um, nowadays, um, really the, the smartest people I get drawn to this, to this um, industry or to to this, um, to this business. I think what's, what I really like particularly around Food Panda is that we have um, very, very diverse teams, not only necessarily um, nationalities, but all different walks of life, backgrounds. Um, you know, we have people working next to each other. One has a, a Harvard degree and the guy right next to him, um, maybe, yeah, I don't know, dropped out of high school or something. They work eye to eye and, um, you know, just work together and solve problems. So this is our social area. So we have, you know, different stuff here. Obviously a PlayStation, ping pong table, an arcade and so on. So the teams voted what they actually wanted to have. And so we also have uh, punching bags here. In case your day didn't go so well, you can uh, blow off some steam. But I think it's a very cool area because on the one hand, it's a bit recreational, but then also we use it actually a lot as a training facility with those rooms here. And then when we have, for example, regional summits where like, you know, our country teams come to Singapore, we can extend this area and, um, you know, can collaborate in, you know, larger groups and so on. This kind of moving decision making to all levels of the organization, I think is something which came very, very early to Food Panda because in the very early days, we uh, Food Panda had a, a set of you know eight countries back then, and those countries already then were extremely diverse. We had a Bangladesh, a Singapore, and a Taiwan, and a lot of stuff in between. It's very difficult for a localized business model like us to be successful in all those different countries. And so we realized this, I think, early on. And what we did is we said, okay, we really allow those countries to run extremely autonomously. They more or less decide on their own strategy, they decide on their own execution priorities and so on. And I think this was kind of like the starting point towards this bigger thinking of um, decentralized decision making and enabling not only countries, but also teams in the countries, teams in the regional team and, and so on. Um, and so really decentralize the decision making. This is our cafe area. So we have cafe, beverages, um, snacks and so everything available. So this is the biggest one um, on, on this floor. Actually, every single floor, we have some form of beverages and snacks available. I do have a, a um, Sichuan food restaurant actually on Food Panda I really, really like. Even so, sometimes I regret it afterwards. Yeah, either that or um, there's a couple of very good Italian restaurants. In good uh, Singapore fashion, I also sometimes order McDonald's. I mean, I, I always romanticized the early days. Yeah, I have to be honest. Like, I still remember when, um, and I was in, yeah, I was in Malaysia back then. So we were sitting, you know, in a in a super small office, like literally 20 people. And for the very first time in Malaysia, we hit 300 orders on a single day. And I mean, nowadays we're doing like a thousand times more orders, of course. But like, we hit 300 orders on a, on a single day, and we were like so excited, and we had really this like we made it moment. And, and we even had a discussion like, okay, wow, how much can we even grow further? Do you think we can even double the business and so on? So we really had no understanding also how this business could, how big the business could become. And um, yeah, I think those were, were uh, really, really cool days. And this is one of the working areas. So we actually have five floors in, in the building all con connected with a staircase. What we try to do here is we have areas which are, you know, a bit more crowded, a bit more dense. Um, but then also more areas where a small teams can work, quiet areas and so So we really try to mix it up across all the floors and so everybody kind of can pick his, um, his um, desk on the given day, a bit depending what he's doing, what mood he's in and so on. 
So I'm with Food Panda now since um, a bit more than seven years, which um, definitely feels like a lifetime. Before that, uh, I did a couple of years in, ma in management consulting. I think that gave me a very good, you know, basic skill set. Funny enough, I studied uh, theoretical physics uh, at university. So I uh, somewhat started my life uh, as a scientist, uh, but uh, never ever really worked as a scientist. Yeah. I mean, it, it's always a tricky topic, right? Because on um, any any position, you simply want to hire the best person which which is available, and and we also do that, of course. But I think it's more it's more a mindset that we really try to create for for hiring managers and team managers a mindset to more look for for actually people who complement them who are maybe different than them, who have different strengths and weaknesses than themselves to add to their teams, rather than what um, often happens that they uh, have a bias towards people who are similar to them, share the same background, have the same strengths and weaknesses, and so on. And so we're really trying to emphasize that, that culture of you know, seeking more like something complementary. Also, one thing we are we are quite excited about, we actually um, built that office with environment in, in mind. And so we have a lot of elements, like here, for example, where we use um, recycled wood um, to do some of the furnishing and so on. And there's um, lots of yeah, elements like that across the office. We still try to stay you know, very true to our startup rules. So um, we put a lot of thought process into understanding actually what made us successful in the early days, right? And we really try to, to stay true to those values. But I think what, what we really try to emphasize is enabling um, and empowering the teams, allow them to you know, not only execute fast and independently, but also make decisions by themselves. I mean, independently. We also really want to create a culture of linked to that kind of fast decision making and then learning from failures. Yeah? So we rather make a decision, you know, um, four weeks earlier, realize after five weeks it was not a good decision and then reiterate from that. I mean, Food Panda comes from very humble beginnings, right? We started as a very small company and actually it took a long time for us to the, for the business to pick up, right? And I think that's the um, part of the culture that we somehow try to not to take ourselves too serious. We try to be kind of, yeah, have, have low egos, be, be humble about it. And I think this is definitely a common thread among the teams. So I hope you really liked our quick tour into the Food Panda office. Um, this is our new home here in Singapore. Um, yeah, thanks for dropping by and really hope to see you guys soon. Bye.